Hi, in this video we're going to show you a nice tool you could use to manage your zip files and other types of compressed files. It's called pzip and it's a free download. So when you install it, you'll be asked several questions about what types of files you want to associate with it, uh, what you want to have for your right-click context menu, so there's all kinds of ways to customize it. And then when you open it, you'll see it has its own kind of a file explorer interface where you could actually do more than just manage your zip files. So it even has some bookmarks or favorites on the left here. If you want to get to different parts of the file system, history, and so on. And you could even add items to the bookmarks. So let's say you wanted to add this PDF, so you could right click, navigation, add to bookmarks if you wanted to do that. And then of course, while you're here, you could do things like, you know, create zip files if you want. Add to a zip file. And then once you're here, uh, you could change the output path, what type, all these options here, uh, the level, the function, if you want to do a split, and if you do split it, how big you want each uh, file to be, add to separate archives, set passwords, and so on. And then you could even do things on individual files. You know, it says open with a different app here, open a new window. If you want to do some fancy deletions, you know, recycle bin, a quick delete, a zero delete, and a secure delete. So if you want to get rid of stuff for good, you could use this to do so. Move and copy items, system tools, file tools. You could open a command prompt right here, make a new folder, look for duplicates. Uh, image manager, if you're looking at pictures. If you want to fit it to a different size, a web search on the file, explore the path that'll take you to the folder itself, where the file is located. Look at the properties of the item, and so on. Okay, so now moving on to zip files. So we have a zip file here. It's uh, 52 megabytes. So if we right-click it, we could add to it, we could extract it, and it'll bring us back to this menu again. Then we could choose our options here, you know, extract, extract without path, list, test, and so on. Uh, skip existing files, rename extracted files, override existing files, delete the archive after extraction, and all kinds of other options here. And then you have some options up here too as well. Various tools, change your layout, and so on. And you could even convert your zip files. Let's say you want to do a ARC file tar file, zip file, 7z file, self-extracting 7z file. So let's try this one here. Say OK. So now you can see we have the 7z archive file here. And then if we look at it in File Manager itself, we have this right here. We could double click it. It'll open with 7-zipped and give you an option where to extract it right there. Then you have the test option as well if you want to test an archive. Everything is okay. Then you have a lot of the same uh, options here from these menus as well. So you can think of this pzip as kind of like another file manager where you can actually manage your files and then work with your zip files and other types of compressed files as well. And one other thing you'll notice after you install pzip is that when you right click on a zip file in File Explorer, go to Show More Options for Windows 11. You'll have the pzip option here with all kinds of actions you could take on that file. Extract, extract here, test, open as archive, browse with pzip, add to archives, convert, split, zip and email, encrypt, secure, delete, and so on. So as you can see, pzip does quite a lot. So I'll put a link in the description where you could download it and then you could try it out for yourself. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <music> you.